Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Welcome to part 4 of Let's Play Brain Lord, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, let's go back to this hallway over there and talk to Rain. Yes, I need somebody to help. Okay, I'll go first. Right, fair enough. Because <laughs> you're a little clumsy. I mean, there's just enemies and pitfalls and platforms there. You got nothing to worry about. Or do you? But anyway, it's time to head back to where Barnus is so that we can finally weigh both switches down. I mean, I could weigh the switch down, but then I won't be able to get over there. Remember, it's not like Barnus is like 12 feet tall and can just lay across two switches at the same time. That'd be impossible. I mean, he could practically high-five the gods if he was nearly that tall. Or tall enough to reach the switches, then damn it. Forgot about that boulder. There we go, I'm just gonna cheese you over here. Beautiful. No, I'm not alone. What the hell? Don't tell me you just teleported. Because there's no other way you could be flashing like that. Alright, let's see what's in here. Now that we finally have the means to get there, I'm pretty sure there's gonna be something good. Okay, I see a treasure, but there are two, three of these boulders. I gotta find a way to be able to push them. The only way I'm gonna, gonna do that is if I... Well, I can't really do much with that one. I think I practically screwed myself. No way, not necessarily. I think there's still hope yet. Very small amount, though. What if I do this? Move one over here. Now it's completely out of the equation in order for me to get to that treasure chest. So I just made things a little easier for myself doing that. Now I'll just repeat the process with this boulder. If I do it like that, I should be able to make this work. Now just lure you over there. Now I can get to the chest. So this is for the fourth floor. That should be for that door I checked out earlier. There. Now that I got the key, we can make some progress. Of course I was gonna take it, I'm not gonna give it to you. You don't have to tell me to take the key, I was gonna do it anyway. I mean, what are you gonna do, old man? Just throw Metamucil in my eyes? Good luck with that. Then you just give my, uh, vision some fiber. Anyways, let's just focus on dealing with this door over here. Hey, Ferris, what are you doing? This door won't open! I wonder if someone forgot he has the key! Uh, you're gonna leave now? Okay, fair enough. More dragon scales for me! There we go! Now we're gonna make it to the fourth floor. I believe the fourth floor is the last one in this dungeon. So we're very close to the top. Okay, Cole's level is now level 6. That's pretty good. So now he'll do even more damage. Now here that the further up you go, the animation of the fireballs can change. Which is actually a pretty nice feature to let you know how strong your attacks are getting. Okay, there's nothing else over there. Is there any secret passages? I don't know if the uh, X-ray glass has been mark them. Probably not. I'm just gonna look around for anything suspicious. I'm pretty sure we're just fine. So let's go. To the fourth floor we go. And yes, I will definitely save. Okay, now this is a pretty big floor. He who finds the detour will find riches. Uh, okay. Let's take a look at this floor then, shall we? Well, here it's gonna be pretty large. Oh my god, there's a big amount of pits over there. But I think I should go to the left first. Let's go. Now let's see how we're gonna make this work. Don't think I'll be able to make that jump. 
I don't even think there's anything there. Okay, I believe there could be some treasure around here. But the jumps could be a bit tricky to make. So let's see if I can find an easier one. Or probably a means to get there to these islands. This'll do. Are there any other platforms? Oh, probably just another means to go from here. I'm gonna let Cole take care of this enemy, or just move it, and there we go. Okay, so this will probably lead to somewhere important. Oh, this guy I don't like. Let me try my magic missile on him. Okay, good. Got another heart. That's awesome news. Gotten quite a few HP boosts right here in this very dungeon alone. I like that. Of course, the more you get, the better your chances of success. That should be pretty obvious, don't you think? I mean, you'll have a greater chance in an RPG if you have, like, say, 2,000 HP rather than 200. Especially at a point in the game where the most damage you can probably take is around 1,500. In a certain dungeon, I mean, not overall. Let's not go nuts. Um, is there any reason to go this way? Probably not through that way. I think I'm supposed to go down here. And that doesn't lead to anywhere important, so really, there's no point. But I just have this sad feeling that there's something else I can get to. Let me go over that again, just to be sure. There's probably another means to get there, like on the right side, so you know what? I'm gonna leave that alone. I'm just taking more damage than I should be. And how the hell did I get hit there? He who can endure will truly be called a warrior. You will understand these words someday. Well, that seems blatantly obvious. If you can't endure, you're just dead or retired. You're not going to be a warrior at that rate. This looks like the top floor. What? Me? There's something funny about this wall. I'm having a look. Okay, you just keep staring at the wall, and I'm just going to kick some ass and make some money. Oh, I already read that. Okay, it's the same plaque, only with, like, less of a description. Fair enough, that was pointless. So let me keep scouring this floor. I might find something very good. Like maybe a big key that can allow me to get to that main room in the middle. And if I get some more experience, that's even better. Okay, I the shield took damage there. I'm not going to deal with that enemy over there. You know, the archer, I mean. Eh, maybe I should, just for the sake of maybe getting some experience from my jades. Ah, like so. That was actually a good decision. The Skyrim key. Skyrim, not Skyrim. We're not going to find any keys that lead to arrows to the knee, or anything like that. Yeah, I think that reference is long since dead. <laughs> And for good reason. People just abused it. Okay, is there anything else I can find in here? Good question. Okay, I've pretty much gotten to what I can, really. Except for that little island over there to the left side. I don't know if there's a way to get there. Maybe I was already there. Who knows? Let's deal with that later. Now, I'd rather just go this way, to the left. Okay, now this is where it gets tricky, because now you got two platforms that are moving, and I almost fell off. Very intricate crossing we're going to have here. So I'm going to take care of this enemy. Maybe I'll get some more experience? No. Not this time. Fair enough. I can just walk across there. 
without having to jump. That's good news. Let's take care of this enemy as well. Getting some decent power with a magic missile. I like that. Okay, before I go in that door, I instead want to go through here. Yep, to put it like a little spring of life in that one room, that tells you there's something very important waiting. Especially when we go through this room. He who does battle with the Master of Light should prepare for the worse. Jeez, they're gonna give you a lot of pressure or something. You know what? Bring it on! Now it is the last key of this dungeon. So right now, we're gonna take on our first boss. Basically, this giant bug. That after a while, it just spawns like little bugs. And they keep going diagonally. As for the boss itself, it just goes like pretty much in a square direction. That's it. Whenever you're close to it, it's going to move to another side, or, well, another corner. So just keep swiping at it every now and then. I believe the more damage you do, it changes color, and then it gets stronger. I think I took, like, one or two bits of damage from that bug. So you gotta be very cautious. That's why I'm glad I have the Foundation Jade with me to increase my defense. Anything that can do some damage, like, say, your Crimson Jade, also works. And don't worry about trying to kill all the bugs. They don't give you any money. They don't give you any experience for your Jades. And they keep respawning. Let's try this Magic Missile, shall we? I'll have to consider doing that now and then. Okay, the boss is immune to magic. Maybe the small bugs aren't. Okay, I'm pretty close to dying here. So if I get hit one more time, I might have to consider using a cheese. Who knows, I might still be able to beat the boss without dying. It's very close to being destroyed. And it is destroyed! Awesome! When I first played this game, this boss beat me multiple times. I just kept getting overwhelmed by the bugs. I don't think I got any money for that, did I? Oh, Baga! You're too late! There are almost no Dragon Scales left! Well, there's still one. Anyway, this scale doesn't look very old. I wonder if the Dragon is still around somewhere. Oh, well, all we got is one Dragon Scale. I got a Warp Gate for that. When the Dragon is slain, the Evil King will appear. I thought kings were usually good, and it was emperors that were bad. Remember the RPG rules? But anyways, let me scour this room one last time. Because I have a feeling there might be one thing that I missed. I'm not 100% sure, but it's worth taking a look. And if I don't find anything, I'll just use the warp gate and get out of here. It's a good thing you can use your warp gates pretty much anywhere you want. That's very convenient. Like, is it around here? Like, I just have this feeling that there's gonna be, like, a one spot that I can get to. I have no idea. Maybe it doesn't lead anywhere important, but we'll see. It's always connected to that very spot. Let me check around here, just to be sure. Like, I don't want to leave anything to chance, you know what I mean? Especially if it could lead somewhere good. It's probably to the left of the heart, can I get there? Let's give it a shot. I don't really think it leads anywhere important, so you know what? I'm just gonna leave it alone. So with that, we'll use our warp. And if there actually is something important, I will just go back to it. I'll just go to Tower 4, and it'll take me to that immediate spot. And there you go. That's all there is to it. So you know what? I'm gonna do some shopping to buy some jades. Especially that Anger Jade. That's a very good one to have. But it's also the most expensive. 
All right, here's the Anger Jade right here. Very hard to catch, and good thing I have it for free. Well, not really for free. But anyways, I'm gonna name it after my Heracross from Pokemon to Ju-22. Seeing as how he was pretty devastating in that game, why not be devastating here as well? And apparently you can't give it numbers. You can only just go with letters. Fair enough. Uh, can I buy another Jade? Deceased Jade... for 8,000? How much is this one? 11,000 for the Power Jade! I'm definitely taking this! Ah, uh, let's see... Anything that can increase my power... Uh, I think we'll go with Rowan Dinge 69 for this one. I mean, why not? There we go. That's beautiful. Eh, you'll still be around so I can buy the rest of them. When I get more monies. I did get a dragon scale after all. Actually, I think this would be a good time to go over to the inn. And actually just get back to full health. Okay, so I believe... Wait, Cassian is still here. Probably drinking her sorrows away. I'm gonna go talk to her before I leave. Oh, Bonga! Did you find lots of scales? I found eight and made lots of money! Maybe we can take a nice trip together. I'm game for that. Why not? Actually, just one more thing for me to check. Yeah, I know. This is kind of pissing you off and I apologize for that. Let me check the uh, job ad. I am collecting ancient writings concerning this area and the town of Toronto. All information about the Abel civilization that once prospered north of Arx. Specifically, the dragons rumored to have died out. A large reward for information related to these creatures. Toronto Civilization Research Office. Okay, the Abel Ruins, or Abel Ruins, I don't know how you pronounce them in this game. That's actually our second dungeon. So, why don't I go over to the blacksmith and sell these dragon scales? Or dragon scale, really. Oh, hi. Actually, I've got lots of dragon scales, so the price has really fallen. 2,000 gold! 2,000 gold is your top offer? I was thinking I was gonna barter. But no such luck. In my spare time, I was digging a tunnel to the ancient ruins in the west, but I found a natural cave. They say there are still buildings underground at the ancient ruins. This cave may reach the ruins. Why don't you go in and take a look? But it was hastily built, and soon the rocks in the ceiling caved in and blocked the road. Break up the rocks with an axe or something. Okay, are you gonna give me an axe? Or do I have to buy one? Well, I can't break them with anything else but an axe. So therefore, I'm gonna have to go get one. How many years has it been since I went there? You hired Round and Ranel's son. Okay. So it looks like I do have to go over to buy an axe. Hopefully I can get one for at least 9400. No, oh, this is the item shop. I don't want to go to the item shop. I want to go to the weapon shop. Just downstairs. Alright, so there's an axe over here. 3,000? Sure! That sounds good to me. Actually, I might be able to buy this boomerang. For 8,000? No, I won't be able to. Do I have anything I can really sell? And the apple's 250. Um, let's think about this for a moment. What if I sell the mut? Nah, it's only 1,000. I, sh I would like to get a boomerang. I don't know if I can get one for free in a treasure chest somewhere. So I'll think about that for a moment. In the meantime, I'm going to stop the video here. And in the next part, we're going to go through that cave to reach the ruins. Goodbye, everyone.